G'day guys, and welcome to another episode of Trippin'. Well today I'm trying to bring you a catch and cook. Unfortunately, with the Rona going on at the moment, I can't do my usual overnight camps. What I am still allowed to do is head out and catch a feed. So that's what I'm doing today. Come down here at first light this morning, trying to get a feed of whiting. Been targeting them on the surface with the Bass Day sugar pens. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get a bite like that. But luckily I know a foolproof way to get a feed of whiting. Today I'm back out with my good mate Pav and what we're planning to do is get a feed of whiting and do up a cook and then after that we're fat and full. We've got a beautiful day ahead of us so we're just going to explore and see what we can get up to. Eight. Didn't know how to take care of that. Didn't know how to icky. Uh, no. Put them out of their misery. So just trying to spike straight in on the brain. And then just gonna come in and cut through the gills to bleed and get all the blood out of the fish's system. And straight on the ice. She goes 23, which I'm pretty sure she does. It's a proper feed now. 25, that looks yeah. Not a monster, but we're gonna take it. Have a look at our kitchen. How good is that? Managed to pick up three whiting this morning. Well, I should say Pat's managed to pick up three whiting this morning. I'm on a donut, but I'm still gonna get to eat. So the first thing we got to do is fill it up these fish. You've probably heard me say it a thousand times now, but we always salt and season our fish before crumbing and battering. What that does is it draws out the moisture and helps firm it up. So what I'm making for Pav and I today is a ginger beer battered fish. And Pavi's put together a coleslaw. So in this container in here, we've got some flour, some bicarb soda. I put in some cayenne pepper and some salt and pepper. Just going to mix in our ginger beer, and we want to bring this to the thickness of about double cream. So it seems to be coming up a little bit here, mate. <laughs> I love cooking with my feet in the water. That's about the consistency we're looking for. <laughs> Intermission. Done. Ooh, something decent. I'm pretty sure it's a ray. Before we were just rudely interrupted, I was 
flowering up our whiting fillets. Good job. I think we're good to go. Splash off a little bit of batter. Drop him in. Not take long at all. Whiting fillets in a blanket of batter. Does it get any fresher than that? Choo-hoo! So, this is a cold floor we prepared last night. Really simple. Uh, basically, what I ate when I was in Mexico a couple years back. Really simple, mate. It's, um... Some chopped up red cabbage, carrots, brown onions, coriander and spring onion, and lastly, some green apple. For the sauce, we mix together equal portions of apple cider vinegar, lime juice, kewpie mayo, and chipotle chilies. These are easy to find in your supermarket in the international section. Put more in if you want to increase the heat. Mix your sauce in along with some fennel seeds, and you're done. Ready to enjoy. Free and dive into the sky. Hear the wind crying out its prayer. Why are we so ashamed to be alive? Break the chains and our freedoms are still safe. Behind your back Chase the light When the world is getting darker I have a dream Where love's the only side So take my hand Join the army of the shadows Go in Baby. We need that to go 23, mate. Quite it. Have a look. Oop. 
I guess we'll never know. <laughs> <laughs>